Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Scrappy Saturday and I am going to do some tracing paper strips um, Christmas themed so that I can decorate some um, ephemera that I don't have done yet. So let's say hi and hugs. Hi and hugs first to Carol, Darlene, Sandy, and Nancy. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. And I have an extra thank you today, which is thank you to um, my son, Mikey. Um, he helped me figure out there's a little under the video. There's a little line of various things, one of which is a thanks button. And so um, we got that activated on my channel. So if you enjoy the video or whatever, you can click that. And it's like tipping the waiter kind of. <laughs> So I wanted to say thank you to Mikey, and I wanted to say thank you so much to Judy. Judy Ortez, she was the first one to, to give me a tip. So that was super nice. So that's there. That's there if you so desire. Okay, let's be doing this. So I wanted to do, I'm going to do two, and I think I'm just going to kind of do them at the same time-ish. Maybe I should have a paper under there. That would be a good idea for my stamping. Um, and let's just, I did zero in a little, hoping that you could see a little bit better. So I hope I can stay in frame too. At least, at least part of me will be in frame. I don't know. I'm going to do red on the background. This stamp I get a lot of questions about. This is a Hero Art stamp. It's um, called Decorative Lines Background. It's from 2004. So, you know, whether or not they still make it, I don't know. But I do, I do love it as a background stamp. It's like my favorite. Oops. So super fun. My son is here working today because yesterday his daughter had volleyball here and then um tomorrow she has volleyball here so he said you know i'm just gonna stay and i'll work from your house and then i'll um be able to go to the games let's see let's do oh gosh decisions decisions well we'll do one on one and one on the other this one 2003 stampin up yeah oh my stamps are pretty old <laughs> except some of the blue fern studio ones and so so yeah that's that's the truth of it they're just old but sometimes you can find them on ebay or if you have a friend that's a stamping up consultant um Juanette from Juanette's crafting corner is a stamping up consultant i know that so this is another Stamping Up 2003. It's squiggly lines. Let's do that on this one. Just hit a few of the empty spots is my objective here. That's very light, but that's okay. That's kind of that's kind of what we need. Okay, we can get rid of this for the time being. Okay, so let's do let's do some scraps on here. And I think I need to get this so that I can see where the 11 is because I think that should be all the way into frame. Yes, okay. Okay. Um, book page. I want some book page. Not that, not that. Let's use some of those. They are a pretty color. So, okay, glue, stick. I think I'm set. <laughs> Let's see, maybe I need my dare ruler. Maybe I need that too. Let's see, maybe this side. 
So, hope you're all having a good day. I have had a great day so far. Went to the dentist. That's always good. Get the get the old teeth cleaned. And I didn't get in trouble. It's always nice at the dentist. You know, I just feel so bad when they're like, ooh, really, you need to be working harder on this. Nope, I got a good report. So, that was good. Okay, I'm supposed to be putting things in my Etsy right now. And what am I doing? I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing. I just... I was, I was going to come down and do something, and then I was like, oh my gosh, I just, I just want to do a bit of playing. So, that's what I'm doing. Actually, let's do... That one there. This one here. I'm going to go kind of foursies on this one, I think. Forzies. Yeah. Maybe there. Okay. So that would be that. And then I have this bit left from that I thought would be pretty. Maybe well. Do that. And then on this side. I'm going to tear it. Okay. And I'm going to tear that in half. I'm going to tear this in half. Okay. So, it could go there. This could go there. There. And there. Ish. Okay. i got to pull up my sleeves. And I'm going to glue them down. You could do some distressing on the edge if you wanted. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about that. I know I'm off camera, but I'm just sticking this at the top. If I move it down, those will fall off. <laughs> so I'll be back in just a second getting these top ones done. And then I'll, then I'll be back in screen. Yeah, so it was fun at the dentist's office. Um, the dentist, I've talked about this before, is one of my kids from when I worked at the college. He's such a sweetheart. He says I'm his second mom. Anyway, he, um, he and his family, they got a new puppy. And so the new puppy is at the dental office learning to be socialized and learn learning to be good not bark you know stuff like that so anyway I go in and sit in the chair and I'm looking out the window and she the dog is uh sleeping all curled up in a little ball out in the yard sleeping in the sunshine so cute she's a golden doodle and so um when I went to pay I was like can I meet the dog? <laughs> she and um his wife is the receptionist and she said, "Oh, sure." She said, "That's why we bring him bring our puppies here to be socialized." And so I got some good puppy scratches in the, today. That was fun. Okay, so there's a little bit of a base on that one. Um what else would we like? Do we want do I want any frames? Um, that's not frames, people. Uh, it's this one. I know I need to get them. Ooh, that's good. It's got some red. Like little red things like that. Okay, I'm going to keep that at hand. I think I would like to put a little bit of a little pop of green in here. So, what if what if we use this? Here we go. Put 
that I'm gonna. It's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Like about right there. I think I might go there with that one. My in frame there. <laughs> Oh, okay, let's just go like that. And I'm going to add a little more. This is one of, um, this is one of Kathy Holden's, I believe. Oh, look, I tore that just like this one. <laughs> Apparently, that's how I do it. Yeah, so anyway, I got my puppy fixed. That was fun. It made going to the dentist a lot more fun. Well, I told my dentist, I said, most people don't like to come to the dentist. I do, because I get to see you. <laughs> mm -hmm. do that. That's a bit much. Kind of feeling right, like right there. And again, that feels like a bit much. Well, maybe I'll just stop while I'm ahead. I have a whole nother one to do. So I have these I pulled out. They're the negatives of a die cut that I was thinking might be kind of fun on this. Maybe I'll put a couple of those. I haven't heard my son talking. I thought he was supposed to have a meeting. He said it was more like he'd be listening than talking. So... I want to go there. Yeah, I kind of like that. There. And maybe maybe one more right about there. I don't know. Just having a play. Just having a play. Let's see. So those I think I'll put on with the art glitter. Just because it will chew up my glue stick to not. Okay, get that smooshed down, maybe, excuse my reach. So, yeah, so we're taking my son out to dinner tonight at the, at my favorite restaurant. Mike and I don't eat out a lot, so it's always a big treat to do it. I mean, why would you when your husband's such a good cook like mine? But, um, yeah, so... So that'll be kind of fun. And then we'll come home and watch another horror movie. Last night we watched Halloween Ends. And that's the one with Mike Myers, you know. And Jamie, Lur Jamie Lee Curtis is in it. It's kind of cool. I noticed she... Um, she produced this movie too. So I thought, good for her. You go, you go, Jamie Lee. Sorry, I was just trying to get the glue goober off. I meant to do that, but it is really goobery. Okay, whatever. Go back in there. <laughs> okay. 
So now what? Maybe I'm going to do some little, almost like little focal points. Like, I was thinking, I've got these little people from, um, oh yeah, I forgot I put all those paper clips on there. These are from Porch Swing Designs on Etsy, Mary Lou there. And um, I think I might could use them. I have a lot of little, little things. I need to um, pull over my one tub of stuff too. I didn't find my, I still haven't found <laughs> my paper clips from the, from the last time. I haven't found them yet, but, oh, this little girl's so cute. I don't know. I feel like these might be a bit big. So that's all right. We have other other options here. Look at this cute, this cute little guy. I do love him. I would have to cut him out a little bit. I think I'm going to use him, so I'm going to go ahead. I didn't cut out his legs because I was afraid they'd get torn off. Got all my spools of lace in my scrap basket and so I don't have a scrap basket to throw in so I have to reach over to the garbage every time. <laughs> Thus the usefulness of the scrap basket but that's all right. It looks so cute with the spools of lace that I just I'm gonna leave it for like that while I'm working on Christmas. Okay, dude, you're ready. Um, oh, he's cute right there, isn't he? Okay. Let's see, what else do we have? We've got this little birdie. He's, I think I'll have to use him on the wider one. Got this little cat, but he looks like he's scared. I'm, I'm not sure I am excited about that. This little birdie, though, could go right about there. Okay. Oops, probably out of camera somewhat. So I've got him and him. I need something for up top and something at the bottom. So let's see what else. Let's see, and these are from, can I tell you who? I don't know if I can tell you who. It doesn't appear that I have, I don't seem to have a, a note. It's too big. Okay. See what else? People, how about maybe something out of here? This is from Tuke's craft table. Let's, oh, isn't she adorable? And she's pink, like my pink journal. Oh, she's gonna go up there. Look how cute. Okay, she's gonna go there. Okay, I just need something at the bottom. I need something taller. So maybe one of my little people. Ooh, I think there's a Santa in here. Let's see. Ooh, he's a kind of a big Santa. He's too big, isn't he? Darn. He's cool though, I gotta remember he's in there. Okay, let's see. Let's grab my people again. Maybe I just didn't have the right one on there. Oh, 
There's this little dude. Him and his Christmas tree. He's about the right height, I feel like. Maybe, maybe a little taller than that. They're all about the same size. Oh, she's super cute. Oh, I like her because I like the contrast. See how the red here is blending into that red? I like her best. Okay, cool. Got them. And then we are going to do like some kind of like little labels or something. All right, so I need to grab my... Distress ink and I'm in a distress around these guys because of fussy cutting there. A bit white. So as far as Scrappy Saturday goes, this is really the bits of paper and book page are really the scraps, but you know, I needed these, so I'm making it fit. <laughs> making it fit the video theme. Always, always lots to do with scraps. Okay, he's going to go there. You then. Give you a little... It was so funny yesterday at my um, granddaughter's volleyball. Um, we were chatting um, after the game. The team from here, one of the gals on it, is the daughter of my daughter's best friend growing up. And so it was super fun to see her. I hadn't seen her in a while because my daughter's moved away. You know, the one that lives in Bozeman. So anyway, um, we are chatting and whatever. Well, after the game, we were chatting with, um, they were chatting with someone and um, someone from Missoula. Uh, she's actually the, the wife of the football coach at U of M anyway. Super nice lady. And I'd met her before in, in Billings and she said, she said to um, my daughter's friend, she said, oh, how do you know these people? And she said, well, she's kind of my second mom because she did really grow up. I mean, my, da my daughter was either at her house or she was at our house, one or the other. <laughs> and so anyway, that was funny. Well, then the connections were crazy because this gal's mother is my daughter-in-law's godmother <laughs> and this gal is cousins with my my daughter's friend's husband and and then um and then she, my daughter's friend is Addie's godmother <laughs> so it's just like oh my gosh we just have all 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 manner of co connections here Yeah, so it was it was pretty funny. I mean, talk about small world. All these connections. Okay, so then she's going to go right about there. Okay, so we did that. Now we're going to put maybe some little signage on them. If I... If if we've got stuff that, okay, like this one, this one will work. I'm going to put that right there. Um, and then I'll pull out more Christmassy things. That's the one I saw that I, but like, like this Cherish would be cute. 
on here too. It's a bit big though. Um, I think it's too big. It, it will be fine on the three inch one. Okay, so we'll keep this out and at the ready, but. Um, okay, so I'm gonna look for a little signage in my ephemera stash. Um, let's see, maybe all of my words in here are too big. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, those are all gnome words. Those aren't going to work. Okay. I'm going to go over to the Over to my words, wherever they are. Not in that one. Oh. This one? No. Okay. The move strikes again. I'll just look in this one and see if there's any small. There's a few small ones in, in my vintage studio 717. There's a Merry Christmas here that may work. Oh, that's just real close. Put that there. This here. Thanks for crafting with me today, guys. It's just so fun. Oh, a Merry Christmas. I'm going to run that off the side a little bit, but I like that there. So we'll have that with that. I might move this up. And I think I might see if there's an up and down word. I saw some in here. Don't know if they're going to be too big or whatever, but We've got Santa. Um, Santa Christmas, that's too big. I think that's okay right there. Okay. Try not to spend five hours doing these, but it really, it does take some time, but I so love the results. go there. So this one is going to go more with the uh, with this little guy. And this will go with the bird. This one, this little one's going to go with this little girl in the pink. Okay, get those on there and then we'll stamp and we'll kind of be ready, won't we? <clears throat> Whoops. I'm going to cut off the edge of that a little bit. This one, go right about there. Part of it's going to be cut off too, I think. Just the edges. This one goes clear to the bottom here. Okay. 
Okay, so let's cut those off a little bit. And all right, so now I want to put some script on them. So I have this Christmas script stamp. I think I'll do that. I think I want black for that. So let's move you, and you, and you. I'll put this here and I'm just gonna script stamp away here this is kind of not It's hard because this kind of juts out like that. Yeah. Got a little bit on the bird. I didn't want to do that, but I did it. Other spots. Like a little right there. Okay, well, I went over that a little, but that's okay. Okay. So that's that. Now, what I want to do is put my coffee on coffee ink I want to do my um, I want to do this my coffee dye coffee splatter my splatter stamp there we go and all I did was on Amazon I put put splatter stamp in and this is what I got so um, and I know some people have found it that way but um, that's really all I can tell you I just put in splatter stamp and that's this is what I got so I'm just trying to get the areas that you know I don't mind having a little on that oh yeah that's nice okay never mind we're gonna do it over the labels that's actually really cute Okay, it's about there. Okay, that is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate with that. And then we will, I'm gonna go around the corner or around the edges, I think. Decorate with it and then we'll do another one if we have the time, I think we, we should. That just kind of finishes off the edges a bit. I, I really like the distress ink on the um, tracing paper. Because it's still translucent, but it's then it just has a little bit of an edge. cut that off so we'll do that all 
Okay, we're gonna, once we cut it, we'll need to edge it a little bit more, but that's okay. Okay, so here's my bag of not completed things. Let's see, how's this on there? It's kind of perfect. Okay, I think I'm going to put her there. I'm going to go ahead and use my scissors just because. Just because. Okay, that's semi-straight <laughs> is all. So I'm going to put her there and then a label there. And that will be good. All right, let's do, let's do this thing. Oh, she's so cute. Such an easy way to decorate tags, I think. Tags, journal cards, whatever you decide to use it on. So let's put her down here. Okay. I got these sewn around and everything. And then I'm going to use oh, where they are. There it is. My porch prints. I'm going to use one of these little definitions. I love these. Okay. I wonder if there's one that's Santa. These are more religious Christmas. Oh, there's reindeer. That could work. How about sleigh bells? That's cute. Okay. Oh, man. Sometimes you just need a little decorating for your soul, don't you? Especially when you just came back from the dentist. <laughs> I was such a big baby. I was like, I don't really want to go. Mike's like, gotta go. Okay. It's just because I don't ever want to leave my craft room. I mean, that's the truth of it. It's not, I do like to see my dentist. He's a sweetheart. And of course I want to have good teeth, but I would rather be making stuff. Okay, and I think I'm going to put... one of these little slots in the top of this tag. Okay. Is that cute? I think it's cute. Give it a little framing out. And a little toning down of the colors, but super happy with this. I think it's cute. So now we, ta-da, first one. Okay, I wonder if I have anything in here that is more pink and bluish kind of. For my little pink girl. Oh man, she'd look cute on there. Okay, so we're going to cut, hopefully straight this time. Right there. And she is going to go right there. Let me, oh, I didn't do the bottom of the other one, but that's okay. Okay. How cute is that? I love that. I'm not going to poke a hole in that because I would poke it through the cardinal's beak. 
So that's cute just as it is. All right. Okay, so what I've got left is these two. Um, I think I'm gonna go right about here. So this guy, he's he's more um, cluster size, I would say. I'm gonna try to even that up a skosh. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's let's see. Still have these two tags. I put that there in another definition. I think that would be just cute. Okay. Okay. Right about there. Now, do we have, did I put a reindeer on that? Nope, I put sleigh bells. I thought I saw a reindeer, didn't I? There's a big reindeer, but it's too big. But I thought I saw one. Yes, reindeer, boom. Loved, loved, loved these porch swing design um, fussy cuts. They have been really fun to use in amongst all my others that are left from last Christmas. Okay. There's another tag done. <laughs> My little dental hygiene is she always, how's your, how's your YouTube channel doing? <laughs> it's good. It's good. Okay. Do you want a hole in that one? I think I might. Okay. Yes. Good. There we go. There's that one. And then this might need like a small journal card or something. Actually, that goes pretty well there, doesn't it? But let's see what else we have in here. All those pockets got kind of big journal cards. No, no, no. Oh, what is this? Oh, one of these will flip down. I could put it on as what the envelope tucks into. I think I'm going to do that just for something different. Okay, so... So this one, we just we're just gonna glue on three sides so that the envelope can tuck into it. I 
And these are fun on the page, glued here and here and with a tag tucked in, I think. That's what I usually do them with. That needs to be glued down the flap, so we'll do that. Oh gosh, we're almost done. Only got one done is all. Oh well, but we got it done and we got the ephemera made with it. So that seems like a pretty good stroke of business. on the sides and the bottom. And pop that little point in there. Like so. Okay. And there we be. So there are those. So I'll show you what we did. Put that away. Okay. So this will be a little flip down. So this tucks in there, and then this will flip down for writing and likely be a belly band. I mean, you can. Put it on a page as a pocket, you know. Oh gosh, I'm not used to being this close. Like that with a pocket. But I like them in the middle of the page and then with a tag down the middle. I think that's cute. So that's that one. We've got this little reindeer tag. We've got this little sweet girl in pink. And this one. Here we go. So that's a scrappy Saturday for you. I hope it worked out okay being a little bit closer. Let me know how that worked on this one. If if I need to back up, I sure, sure will. But I tried to get close so you could see what I was doing on the tracing paper st uh, strip. So I hope you have an awesome Saturday, a great weekend. Have a grateful day, and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.